Rev up your engines. Today I'm going to talk about why you shouldn't change the muffler on your car. And to explain why, we'll have a little history lesson. In 1897, the Reeves brothers of Columbus, Indiana patented the first modern muffler system for engines. Now mufflers do exactly what their name says. They muffle sound, making it quieter so engines sound loud and obnoxious. Here's my wife's Lexus when you rub it up a little. Rub it up. Okay, it's about 42 decibels, not that loud. And here's my Triumph motorcycle that doesn't have any mufflers. It's a racing setup, they look like mufflers, but there's nothing inside. Okay, and it's 110 decibels. And as you can see on the decibel chart, the Lexus is quieter than a speaking voice, while the motorcycle, hey, it's up there almost as loud as a pile driver, which is 112. So if everyone with all their vehicles took the mufflers off and needed to put straight pipes with no muffler or a fake muffler that had no baffle plates inside, it would be really loud outside. Now, yes, mufflers do restrict the power of an engine some because it restricts how fast the exhaust gas can leave. But if you've ever been to a racetrack, last year I went to the Indianapolis 500 and man, that is loud. Those babies don't have any mufflers on at all. I couldn't hear for a couple of days. I didn't wear any earplugs or anything. I wanted to experience the whole thing. You could feel it in your chest everywhere. I mean, those babies are loud. And I know a lot of young guys, especially with Japanese cars, they're taking their mufflers off, throwing them away, and they're putting on those little free flow mufflers that sound kind of like bees when they're driving down the road. And if you listen closely to a lot of them, You'll hear that they don't sound like they're running right, and that's because they aren't running right. Their cars were made to run correctly with the muffler system on them. The gas is made to flow at a certain speed. The oxygen sensor measure how much residual oxygen are in the system. They store some of that oxygen in the catalytic converter. And if you take the muffler off and you make the system flow a lot faster, that messes with the anti-pollution system. It can also mess with the air fuel ratio that the computer gives the fuel injectors. And they actually can end up running worse if you take the original muffler off. Now, I have to say that this Mustang that I just tested out, it's got a great sound. Just listen to it. But guess what? That baby was designed by engineers. They spent a lot of time having it make the sound that they want, having it work with the anti-pollution system to make it legal, and even to have it pass the decibel ratings. There are certain ratings that cars can have to be sold in the United States. Now I know people are gonna say, Scotty, hey, you're a hypocrite. Your motorcycle back there, hey, you took the mufflers off of that, but hey, I got fancy software and a computer. It's an English motorcycle, and the English are nuts about modifying motorcycles, so there was a great website where I could just download different patches for what exhaust you put on and reprogram the computer so it would run perfectly. And that's why I see so many guys driving around in Harleys that backfire, and even sometimes Ferraris that backfire. They change the exhaust system, but they don't reprogram it to run correctly, so then they run really badly. Even though they make a lot of noise, hey, <laughs> they're not running right, and that's not what you want, a loud car that doesn't run right. Now, when I was a young mechanic in the 60s, hey, it wasn't that hard to change your muffler out and put a freer flower system, because they had carburetors. They have jets in them that allow more or less fuel and air to come in, and you could rejet the carburetors to compensate for putting a freer flowing exhaust in. Anybody with a little time and a little imagination could do it, but modern cars, they're all fuel injected. They have air fuel ratio sensors that are very sensitive. You can't just change the exhaust system of the car. Even just putting a free flow or muffler in is going to mess with all that computer software. And usually the check engine light comes on, they don't run right, you get worse gas mods. So it's not a smart thing to do if you're just planning on making a little bit of noise with your car. And really, even if you have all the equipment, in order to reprogram it and know what you're doing, you only get a very minimal power gain 
by taking a muffler and changing it. It doesn't make all that much difference for actual power. So now you know why you shouldn't take your stock muffler off and put on one of those performance mufflers. And I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people that are going to put those loud mufflers on and think it sounds cool, but at least I can say I warned you about it. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.